All right, you guys, welcome to a detailed flip through of Kindergarten Math with Confidence written by Kate Snow. We have the student workbook as well as the instructor guide. One of the reasons I wanted to go with this curriculum is because there's going to be minimum writing for my kindergartner. So you can even tell from the difference in thickness of each book, he just will not have a lot of sit down work. And right in line with her preschool math at home, uh, curriculum that we went through. It is some um, household items being used, everyday type of life being intertwined into this curriculum, as well as play, which at this level, um, especially with me having a younger age kindergartner, is very important for me to keep as a part of our daily learning flow. So I'm actually going to show you the instructor guide first, and then I will hop over and give you just a quick glance at the student workbook um, because to be honest there's not much um, in here that would require like a super detailed flip through just because it is very simple um, so over on the instructor side so much like the preschool math at home curriculum what I really love about Kate Snow's math programs is that she really does lay out in very concise way for you as the teacher how to um, how to teach that concept to your child. Now, one thing I wanna point out, just because um, we do have the student workbook, but one thing I wanna point out is that she does mention here, a few four-year-olds may be ready to use kindergarten math with confidence, but most young children won't be ready for the number writing on the worksheets or the more abstract concepts in the program. So for us, my son is not yet fully writing. He does know how to write some letters, some numbers, and draw some shapes. However, I do not consider him to be all the way there as far as writing it. So we will actually just use this as he is able to. Another thing I want to point out here while I'm on this um, overview page as well is that this is a 32 week um, curriculum. Now each week you have a specific focus. So I really like that because it keeps, um, keeps things from feeling like a rush. Um, and sort of like we're just introducing concepts but not really diving into that concept. Um, and so I really like that. I like that there's a um, topic focus for each week. And I will show you this as well, but each, um, each week has an overview teaching math with confidence um, section. So it'll give you a couple of notes um, just to better explain what the concept is for that week. And then um, that list of household materials that you're gonna need for the week and then how to um, do further learning. So how to weave it into everyday life. And here um, she does let you know that each week does include four lessons. So, I mean, really this curriculum is gonna allow us, the way that it's laid out, um, is gonna allow us to really take our time with it. Um, I know you can do that with any curriculum, but sometimes when cu curriculums are laid out in a specific way, you kind of feel a little bit pressured to um, go at the pace of the curriculum. And so um, mentally, this kind of helps me to remember that I can really take, um, we can really take our time with going through this curriculum. And keeping in line with preschool math at home, the checkpoints are included as well, because I know not every family likes to do tests. And at his age, I'm not concerned with doing tests. However, I, for my personal um, confidence in moving him forward, I need something like the checkpoints at each, um, at each unit so that I can be able to really assess if he is truly ready for me to move him on to the next section. And here, this is how you can actually create your own little math kit at home. I actually need to get more of the index cards, but everything else I have here. And I'm just going to compile everything into one container so that when we sit down to um, go through our lesson for that day or that week, then I can just pull that bucket out. And we already have what we need right there. This is one of the um, unit overview pages. So you see you have the overview, you have uh, what each week, what topic is going to be discussed or learned that week. And then this is more information about what they're going to be learning in week one for numbers one through four. So again, here's the overview, teaching math with confidence, it's going to be subitizing. And then we're going to have the list of household items that you're going to need. 
how to weave this math concept concept into everyday life and then the math book of the week i like this edition in here as well because it keeps me from having to run to the internet and research on my own for a corresponding book um and i know for my child he actually does enjoy um when we are reading a story that goes with our um, math or or phonics lessons and so i like that she includes that in here and then you also have for each lesson it tells you what activity the purpose of that activity the materials you need and then the workbook and the corresponding um page for the workbook that they're going to need to do um and then here you have the activity where you're introducing and then um, it's pretty much the same layout for each of the days. And remember, there's four lessons per week. So they are all laid out. This, and you'll notice that some of them include a review and warm up, and then the activities and workbook. And then um, you also have the answer key here too for their student workbook. And of course, I'm not gonna sit here and flip through every single page in here but i do just want to give you um, a detailed enough look to where you can you will be able to see if this is a program that you would want to try for your kindergartner and just so you can get a good look at where you're starting in this book versus where you're going to end up i will flip to the back of the book here so you can see some of the um ladder lessons okay so the last couple of lessons you'll be touching on times of day and then um, counting to 100, working with clocks. So we're going to be covering quite a bit um, in this book. And then this is the scope and sequence. These are some printouts that you are going to need. And then she compiled a materials list here for you as well. I love how these things are included. and then a 100 chart. And just to give you a look at the checkpoint page. So she lets you know what most kids are able to do by the end of that unit, how to assess if your child is ready to move on or not, um, and then what to do if they need more practice. And just to go ahead and give you a quick look at the student workbook. The table of contents so numbers to 10 shapes directions patterns and again you'll be ending at numbers to 100 in time and see it's very very simple layout and that is it for the student workbook. I really hope that you guys found this uh, flip through this look at math with confidence, kindergarten math with confidence to be helpful. Mm -hmm. If you have um, mm -hmm. older kids as well, she does have other levels available. If you have looked through this and you've mm -hmm. decided that this is not um, suitable for your learner because it may be too advanced, maybe check out Preschool Math at Home. I have um, videos about that one as well. I will leave link down below. Um, again, that one is very similar in layout to this one in that it's household items being pulled in. You have your um, end of unit checkpoints. Um, you can go through it at the pace that you need to. And so I'll leave that link down below if you want to have a look at that one too.